Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday we have Thomas the Tank Engine Black, Stalinkas and Aeroboats. Abelian Hike 852 and Armenian Corner Stalinka, another Corner Stalinka from Yerevan, Armenia, accommodates 172 workers with 96% quality of living, no collisions. Yes, so uh, several things I want to mention about this mod. Uh, of course, Abelian Hike contacted me that said that his mods were a little bit on the large side and that was causing previous collisions of the textures. Uh, that should be resolved now. Not even me myself should have any issues with my stupid PC. <laughs> so, um, uh, there's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't uh, show the models now in the flow, full glory. Of course, this is Stalinka buildings made in the Stalin period of the Soviet Union. Of course, it's, it would be a little bit higher standard of living uh, with these, and so it's 96% uh, quality. Uh, of course, as we have multiple people releasing Stalinkas, you can build now more or less the whole city out of Stalinkas, which is really, really beautiful. Thing. Now, uh, you can find this building in the residential areas under big buildings. There is the one with a, with a white roof over here. You can see on the bottom left hand side it's uh, 208 people capacity. It does cost 40,000 rubles. I can tell you that this is more expensive than any vanilla building straight away, but we can check it. The biggest vanilla buildings would be 189. It's twice the price, so definitely not a cheaty building. This is not a pile of uh, really cheap materials. This is expensive building. If you want any of this stuff, it's quite realistic if you want to play with it. Now, link in the description for more details. Narrow boats from a monotone. Narrow boats were the primary method of transportation of goods along the Britain Canal network. Add a narrow boat to a general cargo uh, and oil tanker and aggregate carrier. These are small, cheap, slow boats that are ideal for low volume import, export, and transport by waterways, especially in conjunction with other mods uh, that add small dock and a cargo. Uh, and cargo harbors available for purchase between 1900s and 1997 for dollars. There are three little boats here. You can see they have only 22, 000, uh, 22 ton capacity. There's a whole history about these vehicles um, uh, in Ireland as well, where I live at the moment. Uh, they they have two big canals, Grand Canal and Royal Canal, that was used similar to like British to British uh, waterways uh, to transport goods before the railroads were introduced. Uh, they're still being used mostly for touristic purposes but there are also people living along these canals these boats have had up to 30 ton capacity compared to modern trucks and trains it's it's insignificant but there were actually quite a huge leap in transportation method in these rural uh, areas of britain or british isles or ireland and britain and uh, probably many other places i know united states has a lot of canals but anyway if you wish to check out this mod and other mods like this please go in the link in the description of the video and check Check out the mode there. Believe it or not, at one point in history, I was a child as well. Uh, this is Thomas the Tank Engine mod by Monotone. Thomas that was uh, the tank engine who lived in a big station and had a six small wheels and a short stumpy funnel and short. Okay, yeah. So Thomas the Tank Engine available from 1913 to 1970, cost sixty thousand dollars. Nineteen sixty, top speed is ninety six kilometers per hour. That's a little bit. Uh, fast uh, weight 36 uh, you know what you can check these details in the link in the description of the video we're gonna go and check out little Thomas the tank engine I already built a little little runway where he's gonna go and play you can see here it's even on the first page of our of our uh, let, let's do three of them in a row and see how they look like uh, we're gonna go with three locomotives I'm gonna go and tell them to go to one side and the other side you know a few little tank engine go uh, right, so we're gonna have a little Thomas the Tank Engine th times three over here. <laughs> this is just so iconic. I needed to put this in a video. It's a really, really beautiful model. I used to, I little engine that could. I used to watch those cartoons when I was a cartoons when I was a child. Okay, I admit it, I did it the other day as well. But anyway, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine people, uh, does it compare to vanilla engines? So let's check it out. Uh, especially for dollar purchase, you can see here we have a couple of other... Yeah, it's quite, quite more affordable. 
that would be under diesel locomotives. Uh, not something that, yeah, yeah it, it's uh, much cheaper than these big American engines. Um, but yeah, I think the price wise and the, uh, the power of the engine is quite, quite comparable. It's more of a meme than actual something that you might use. But uh, if you use it, definitely send me a screenshot. Uh, link in the description of the video. Ferma by Pasha Frollo 1990 farm package designed for agriculture and crop storage. There, are, uh, there is a form with a railway, a small farm, medium farm, and large farm. All the details regarding farms you can see there differ in size of the silos and also with the fuel capacity. As you can see here, there are three different farms, small, medium and big one, as you can see it on the screen. I'm going to go into comparison straight away just to show you what we are talking about here. So we have vanilla ones um, with warehouses that are really, really small. Now you can see that farms here, even though they have a little bit on the big side the silos, they have an insignificant capacity. So they're more or less size wise similar to vanilla farms, but they do have much, much larger uh, capacity. Now, uh, if I go to the railroad, connection uh, there is no railroad connection uh, there is a form with a railway okay I haven't seen that one uh, I would assume that one of these is with a railroad no there's never no, no railroad connection to this probably there should be a railroad somewhere on the side of these models but anyway none of these that I have they have don't have a railroad connection maybe it was meant that they don't have a railroad connection but they have a significant uh, crop capacity now this one has 6600 tons 4400 tons and 2200 tons beautiful 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 models for your small medium and large size farms um, what about the price wise if we compare the prices here the vanilla ones cost 22 36 and 74 thousand these big ones will set you back way more uh, way more almost double the price I believe uh, 22,000 to 33 we have 36,000 to 60 and then 74,000 to 74,000 really same price yeah the, the big ones are more or less the same price but definitely something you're gonna see in my let's plays and price wise price wise yeah yeah price wise they are more or less the similar so quite realistic Java 250 plus 350 pack by Vicom a pack of, of four Czechoslovakian motorcycle Java in, po uh, in particular models 350 slash 353 uh, 353 and 350 slash 353 and there's two more I'm not gonna read them all anyway uh, description of the models and uh, the types and everything about it you have a link in the description of the video I'm gonna show you what is the deal with them here on the map so if you go to ruble section and you try to go and uh, search for personal cars all the way in the end for me because one of the last mods I installed is this Java there are four models I'm gonna demonstrate only this one this is the least powerful so that would be the most affordable one is the small one they go from a nine kilo kilowatts 10 kilowatts 12 kilowatts and 12 kilowatts as well these two seem to be on the same page are they the same models no they are a little bit more power i don't know what's the difference between these models but anyway um the weakest model that we just purchased they are quite more affordable than any of the cars as you can see uh, even vanilla cars nothing over it, it, it's a motorcycle unfortunately there's a little bit of a issue with the motorcycle you cannot put it without a person you cannot just have a motorcycle because then when person uses it uh, they will be driving around your roads without person on it so you can either have a motorcycle with a person on it when it's parked Parked and when driving or without when it's parked or driving and I don't think anybody would like to see ghost motorcycles driving around town I think this is a better version of it uh, it's a really really good effort on uh, Vicom's part so big thumbs up from me I'm gonna show you the models as well if you go to personal personal cars uh, all the way in the end so you have black one with a white ish motorcycle with a black one with a red motorcycle white one with red gray one with blue motorcycle uh green one with <laughs> green uh, guy with a yellow motorcycle white guy with a white motorcycle red guy with a white motorcycle and red guy with a red motorcycle these are the eight different models that we have and um, that's about it comparable to four times more cheaper than any vehicle in the game definitely uh, fuel saving compared to vehicles I mean like you have a five person vehicle dri drove driven by a one car what is this California anyway uh let's move on we have another one from Abelian hike vegetable fields one hectare vegetable field factory it's not field because uh, it's not in a field it's uh, it's not a 
it's not a field because produces food. Uh, what he meant is that it's not in the field section. You cannot find it there. You have to find it under food factory because it does produce food. Uh, final product. Um, uh, production is 10 tons per day. Minimal staff is uh, 20 workers tired of taking crops from the fields to the food factory, tired from placing huge, huge amounts of fields. This field will give you five times the food, the vanilla fields, please. No, also know that it doesn't work uh, on the temperatures below 12 degrees. Okay, all of this is absolutely perfect. I love this. I just wanted to show you a couple of things. If the ground is not perfectly flat, uh, if you allow it to flatten itself, it will still stick to the field. This is a little bit um, the criticism maybe on my part, maybe not. I'm not sure if it's even possible to take textures from the uh, from the fields or or how the fields uh, vanilla fields interact with terrain and then uh, build it into a factory because I know that there are two th th those two are two different things field is a field factory is a factory this is a factory and factory doesn't have doesn't need this perfectly smooth um, perfectly smooth terrain but because there's no building above the ground sometimes you will have these um, uh, layers of dirt sticking through the field so I suggest if you're gonna use this model uh, make perfectly flat field first as you can see here the topography of the terrain here you have a little bit of difference in height and this can affect your fields now uh, let's talk about this this is some of the things that I really really like in this game like uh, we're mi I'm missing in this game is uh, fresh food fresh food there's none to be found only in mods you have greenhouses and you have fields like this like Abelian hike did and now these kind of fields I would suggest if I may uh, uh, that I would uh, I would suggest that we have a little bit of a not a farmhouse but a storage facility next to it even even warehouse type of a storage facility because obviously it has a storage uh, internal storage and food production 10 tons of food per day is a little bit on the higher side so I would suggest um, this field uh, I'll, we can do a little bit of a quick calculation regarding because I'm quite passionate about this field it looks like it's uh, more or less twice the uh, half the size of the big field oh sorry of the medium field and it's twice the size of the small fields a little bit more than that maybe three times more than small field now uh, as mats if you remember this big field has 300 tons of crops per year this one has 100 uh, tons of crops per year I'm pretty sure this one has 33 tons of crops per year so I believe this field this size field would give us around 100 tons of crops per year so 100 tons of crops per year usually it's 50 uh, 2 to 1 that would be 50 tons of food per year and if you keep if you want to make this model um, uh, comparable to the vanilla statistics uh, this field should give you during the, the harvest season around uh, 50 tons of uh, food per year so if, if you're gonna stick it realistically now unfortunately uh, this is this field can do that in five days it's way 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 more productive I would say that it's even more productive than the uh, real greenhouses I think this is this is definitely 10 to 100 times more productive is 100 10 to 20 30 times more productive than um, uh, normal fields would be so it's a really 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 high productivity field I would limit yourself to these uh, fresh food definitely big thumbs up I would love to have a little bit of a warehouse on the side uh, of course a lot of workers need to work this field but 10 tons of food it could be a little bit on a big on a, on a large side so cutting this down maybe to even a ton a day would be much more realistic and still Still very 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 useful so this is really beautiful model I wish uh, we had more of these uh, I will be testing this out trying it out this out maybe even lower the productivity but definitely some big thumbs up from me oh by the way uh, they cost they cost if we go over here they cost only 900 rubles that would be more or less to building a fence around the field which is uh, non-existent maybe fertilizing the field but anyway it does cost under a thousand rubles so it's quite quite affordable old heating plant by Marius heating plant which provides 310 cubic meters of hot water employing 20 workers providing one big and two small pipe connections coal can be delivered by trucks in two parking stations and and by conveyor link uh, quite a lot of pollution for its size and not too efficient regarding consumption uh, this old coal power plant you know what I'll leave this to you like I, like I always do go and check out the link in the description if you like this we're gonna check the textures we're gonna see uh, productivity we're gonna to compare it to vanilla ones and all that good stuff but you guys if you want to check out more details about this i'll have to ask you if you can go and check out and also give thumbs up to marius right so 
so uh, we have conveyor entrance here does it have visual connection indeed it does it does have a visual connection there we have two parking spaces for trucks that's a lot of shoveling of coal inside this heating plant now production of 102 gigajoules of heat that's that's nice that's actually not bad this is uh, I believe this should be much bigger than the small heating small vanilla heating plant so if we go to this this is a big one big one this is half the size of the big one guys so definitely definitely not small i have a problem here where's the small heating plant ah here we go it's a two and a half times size of the small heating plant what about the price the price is the price is forty thousand. it is it is almost twice the price of the vanilla of the small vanilla one it does have two and a half times more um more productivity what about coal consumption ah here we go no 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 it's two and a half times more coal pro production as well uh the last thing we need to compare is pollution pollution is 18 and a half tons per year uh again no this fits perfectly fine with a vanilla one what about the big one yeah i think it fits more or less with the big one it does have more than half of the uh, pollution so it, it does pollute a little bit more than vanilla one it does consume a little bit more coal in average it does consume a little bit less coal but it's more in average per heat that it gives so compared to big heating plant it's definitely uh, dirtier and requires more coal uh, and even uh, more expensive compared to production so definitely compared to the to the big vanilla one it is uh quite you know rackety old heating plant but compared to the small one not so much it is quite comparable to the small one so yeah if you want to have something like this it's definitely uh, gonna cost you if we compare it to the big one now more details in the link in the description of the video I give you Gosposka Soviet Socialist Republic by Dr. Eastwood. The citizens living along the quiet banks of Gosposka River have long awaited the attention of glorious leader to introduce them to greatness of Soviet-style socialism. Right, we have a really, really beautiful map, a lot of flatlands in the middle, we're gonna talk about it, there's a whole description of this map, it's a big one. Um, it's a mod free map so you don't need to require you don't need to have any mods so it has uh, mo all of it it's vanilla buildings it's really really beautiful map uh, we're gonna talk about this map a little bit I'm a sucker for somebody I'm a sucker for maps when somebody puts their own soul and spirit into it and a lot of work like it has been done here now you can see all these winding roads even though uh, it looks like it's a flat map it's not I'm gonna show you why uh, first things first, you have a huge description of this map, so please go and check out the description of this map in the link in the description of the video um, to, to read the whole story behind the map. The second thing is this map has decent amount of resources, not quality wise, not so much coal. It's kind of plentiful, but there's no 100% coals anywhere. We have iron as well. It's on a decent size. It is a little bit on the east side of the country, so it, uh, coal and iron are not really overlapping anywhere. So that's going to be a challenge. Oil-wise, again, I see maximum 30-40% uh, quality of oil, which is perfect. It's quite challenging, but it's also a little bit plentiful. That's nice. Uh, we have uh, uranium ore that is, that is a little bit more plentiful in the middle of the map near the capital city. And of course, bauxite. Uh, again, I believe it's not more than 50% in any of these parts. So it's going to be quite challenging for you to get resources out of here. Okay, so what do we have map-wise? What did I talk about terrain so much? Let me show you the topographical map, F2. You see all these red things? Well, they're sharp, sharp incline and uh, descent of the terrain. So it's quite, quite challenging to build anything on this map. It has a lot of canyons. It has a lot of... Uh, how do I even call it? Ural style, style um, uh, places to build your cities. The only proper flat grounds you have is around the central, uh, central. Uh, what's it called? Influx Usti. Uh, uh, when where two rivers meet. This is where the capital city is. This is the only proper flat grounds that you have. Flatlands, uh, and they spread for a quite a bit. But then again, everything else is just highlands. It's it's rolling hills, uh, which is going to be quite challenging to build build on. So I think this is one of my favorite maps that I saw recently. And of course, like I said, because of the um, personal uh, little uh, things that the the will put in the map, like road 
roads and the cities. Uh, definitely something that I haven't seen in a while, something so nice. So definitely my favorite map this mod Monday and favorite mod this mod Monday. Potentially we're gonna see this in our Let's Plays as well. So heads up on that and populated map again big thumbs up from me. What else is there to say? Uh, nothing. I think we're done. So the only thing left is to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring at the comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy Monday, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.